Well, the very, uh, very first uh, nation's very first hydrogen fueled zero emission locomotive launches today. This is so cool, and they're going to have a special ribbon cutting ceremony today. Dina Kupfer is there this morning with more. Good morning, Dina. <laughs> That's right. Good morning to all of you. But for our good day viewers, we're not waiting until the ribbon cutting. We're showing it to you a little bit early. So yes, it is the nation's very first hydrogen fueled locomotive zero emission, and it is a beaut. So we want to bring in the president and CEO of the Sierra Northern Railway. I can beard this morning. First of all, this has to be an exciting day. This is literally launching on good day for the first time before your ribbon cutting. Tell me what we're looking at behind us. Uh, yes, no, it's a very exciting day. This is the, uh, <laughs> as you said, this is the first of its kind. It's a hydrogen fuel cell switcher locomotive um, built here in Sacramento by the uh, Sierra Northern team. Okay, and what does it mean to be hydrogen fueled versus the diesel that we see in most of these trains? Uh, hydrogen is zero emission, so we're not using diesel, we're not burning anything, there's no uh, nitrous oxide, no CO2, no diesel particulate, so it's absolutely clean burning. The only thing that comes out of it is a little water vapor. Okay, and let's talk about how much diesel is coming off of our tracks as a result of something like this being uh, put in its place. Yeah, this one locomotive used to run about 10,000 gallons of diesel per year. Wow. So this, we're supplementing that with hydrogen. Okay, for those of us who are not quite as smart as you are with the hydrogen and all of the science behind it, I know there's a really incredible piece of equipment here to talk about how the hydrogen is sourced. Hydrogen, not quite as easy to source as diesel. So how does this whole process work? No, certainly hydrogen is, is hard to find right now in California. Yeah. There's not enough of it. There's a couple different processes that are commonly known, but we're fortunate that our sister company, Sierra Energy, and their fast stock gasification system can create clean energy, clean hydrogen um, from any type of product. Wow. Okay, so what is the goal here? Obviously, the first launching today. The timeline, though, for more of these being rolled out, I'm sure there are plenty. <laughs> yes, the first one today, um, we're actually under construction. Three more right now. One of them's off to my right here. Um, those two, those three will be built and running by the end of 2027. Okay. After that, we hope to convert the entire Sierra Northern Fleet up and down the uh, California. And for those who are watching at home, something in your house has been touched by the rail system at some point. Talk about what your trains carry and, and why this is such an important piece for those watching at home. Certainly. So our, our trains here in Northern carry everything you can imagine from, from food products to fuel to cement to lumber, building materials, uh, cattle feed. Everything under the sun comes by rail and gets it to the consumers. And just looking at this, I love the colors, obviously very catchy with the green, the zero emission. How are you feeling today, Ken, knowing that this day is finally here and this is launching in West Sacramento? Uh, uh, certainly, we're, we're very proud. This yeah. has been a long time coming and uh, we're really excited to show it off and have everybody see that it's actually operating yeah. and it, it's come to fruition. So yeah. it's a big day for us. Well, congratulations to you and the team. I know it has been years in the making while we are seeing it here first on Good Day Sacramento. This is the first of many and uh, we are going to make sure that we're also going to bring you some of those videos that they post from the ribbon cutting coming up on CBS tonight as well, but you're seeing it first here again, a zero emissions hydrogen fuel cell locomotive, the first of its kind in the country. We'll be right back after this quick break.